Hey everybody, I know I haven't been on in a while, but <laughs> if you want to, you can go follow my TikTok. I will link that down below. I'm on there a lot, so what I can't do on there, I'm gonna do on here, so. That hasn't changed. But what is about to change is content because I've done just about everything that is on the shelf. So, air guns. One of my favorite things. You can take an air gun out and have fun with it all day long. If you're like me, you use it to keep them sorry fucking animals away. Especially when you got plants and stuff out here. This is what I use now. This is the newest release from Umarex. Smith & Weston, model 29, with an 8 inch bell. This is a um, CO2 powered. And the handy thing is it comes with the tool already installed, so let's go ahead. I gotta put a new tank in anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, we got that problem out here, so. Let's go ahead. I don't have anything out here to shoot it. Shoot at the moment. But I want to talk about how much I'm going to like this thing. I've had several air gun revolvers in the past. And the hammer seems to be the issue with a lot of these. I haven't had that issue yet um, with this one. Either it doesn't want to cock or it doesn't want to fire or the hammer breaks off. So, yeah, I had a Craftsman 357 something. And uh, the... Uh, The uh, hammer broke off. Here, put that back on there. Right here, the hammer broke off on that coffin. So when I saw this, you know, my first night was a Dirty Harry. You know, that was one of my favorite movies. And if anything was going to persuade me to buy a BB gun, it was going to be that movie. So I bought it. Cylinder swings open, just like on the original. So real steel. BB's load into there. I may have a shooting deck and I have a bunch of air guns and I'm gonna bound to have a bunch more, so. Right now we're just gonna look at this today and probably when summer, when it gets warmer out, I'll have a shooting video for you. Hope y'all will be patient with that. I mean, it's warm today. It was warm yesterday. Even warmer today. Made on my CB. Said her name was Mimi. Sounded like an angel come to earth. Okay. So, BB's going there just like so. And another thing I was going to say, there's this misconception. That you can load these while they're in the gun. I found that very hard to do. You're just trying to juggle a handful of little BBs and and hold up a big ass revolver. It, it, it's just a recipe for disaster. So. You have your six shot. I'm safe. You can double action, single action. I do single action just because then I can just line up my shot and pull the trigger. So, but if you look, if from the side here, it almost looks like um, a mark of a rifled bell. So, 
it is not a rifle barrel. It is a BB, not a pellet. I don't have any pellet guns because they're just messy. I don't like messing with them. So, yeah, I got this little baby and it quickly become my favorite. And I know I said shit about revolvers and, and you know, well, BB revolvers, any kind of non real steel BB gun that's a revolver. I don't like it. I like real revolvers, you know, a 32, uh, a 38 special. 38 special, love them. Uh, good 357 snub nose, love it. But the revolver, kind of, you know, I hit him there. This sucker, full metal, except for the grip, everything's metal. Heavy as crap. I mean, it's probably good eight or nine pounds in this thing. It's real. I mean, you almost feel like you're holding a real weapon. Um, well, if this thing shot live ammo, you wouldn't know the difference between this and, and one that shot live ammo. Uh, very hard to see the markings on the side, you know, that they're required by law to put on there. But uh, on, this, uh, on the bell, I don't know if you can see it, but it says Smith & Weston. And on the other side, just like the real one, it says 44 Magnum. Uh, Magnum 44, I'm sorry. Um, single or double action. I'm not going to blow a hole in this shit here as close as I am. Um, yeah, wouldn't be a very big hole, but it'd be similar. Um, just like the real one, you have the license mark of Smith & Wesson. Very cool gun overall. I like it. I am not at least disappointed. The only problem I have is finding a holster for it. So I don't have to just leave it sitting there, you know. I can, you know, take care of those pesky critters. Um, it looks like the sights would be adjustable, but I'm not going to tamper with it. So, this is non-adjustable, but this is, I, I, it looks like it would be, but I don't want to mess with it, so. Maybe for winded and elevation, or maybe just one of them. Not quite sure. I can tell you the aim is, is working. It's the best aim in, a, in a, any kind of pistol that I've ever held, fired, or it's really wicked aim because it's just I don't know if I can line it up for you with that it's an air gun I've been shot with an air gun I'm not scared to get shoot, shot with an air gun so that's the reason he's aiming it at yourself shut the fuck up okay just shut up I've been hit with one of these. I'm not afraid of them. So, uh, it's like, if this were the real gun, I, I guarantee you, if this were the real gun, things would be a lot different. But this is a BB gun I've been hit with. Steel BBs, plastic BBs, lead pellets. I've been hit with everything. I ain't scared of this. You know what? If, if you if you can make me famous, I will shoot myself in the foot. That's how I'm not scared of these. But I guarantee you, stray animals are. Uh, they hear that thing go off and they feel that pellet pop them in the ass, they're gone. They don't come back. Well, the stupid ones do, but. You know, who cares about the stupid ones?
Anyway, so next, this summer, I stay around July. I will pull out all my air guns. Um, up to that point, I plan on getting a couple more. And I'll, and I'll uh, get stocked up on stuff, and I'll do a shooting video for you. And we'll talk about all these, you know, in detail. So we're going air guns for now until I run out of content on that, which I hope I don't. But I'll see you there.